my grandmama told me, if a woman like you, boy, if a woman really like you, it ain't nothing in this world she won't do for you. And I said, well, shit, grandmama, how you know she, how you know if a woman really like you? She say she'll give you her money. Boy, if a woman won't give you her money, nigga, say, y'all, say. Now you see why you got to get her money. And sometimes you can't get no money from her. Nigga, cause you like the bitch way more than the bitch like you, nigga. And you say, boy, I'm going to hurt you nigga feelings, nigga. Because one thing about it, you nigga grew up on your mamas. Your mamas ain't give you no game, nigga. You nigga just run out the house with your pants down, nigga, with them dirty drawers. And you went and got with that woman. And that woman cleaned you niggas up. That woman helped your motherfucking credit get right. That woman helped you get up on your feet. That woman showed you how to get them bumps, uh, them hair bumps from the back of your head. She showed you how to get them cleared up. Showed you how to go down there, nigga, and get your teeth fixed. Now, here it is, a lot of you niggas, the woman done dust you niggas off, uh, done made you niggas better, man, and here it is, you niggas run back down off in that motherfucking slum and ghetto, uh, uh, just done run off on the woman. You can't imagine, nigga, how many women, uh, women, uh, send me them strawberry letters in my motherfucking inbox, talking about some low-down, dirty nigga, she done invested her money into the nigga, done, done, done bought the nigga new tennis shoes, before she got with the nigga, the nigga didn't even have good soles on the bottom of them motherfucking shoes, before she got with the nigga, the nigga ain't never had no matching pair of socks since he left out his mama house, boy, the nigga don't know what it's like, uh, the wake up nigga, the, the have uh, sheets in the motherfucking me, uh, uh, laundry mat in there, nigga, you got clean sheets, you got clean pillowcases, and goddamn me, the mattress clean. Nigga didn't know nothing about no kind of living like that till he got with some kind of woman, and the woman cleaned him up real good. And what them niggas do? What them niggas do? They want to go back to where they came from, hanging out in them old dirty ass slums and gutters, hanging out with them old broke ass niggas, hanging around them old funky ass bitches, playing like they better than everybody. As soon as they think they on their feet, they want to shake the bitch and, and shake the woman uh, and play like they can go stand on their own. Nigga no good goddamn well. They ain't met now, nigga, in their life. They can stand on their own without no woman, nigga. Say, man, let these niggas drown, lady. These niggas come out the penitentiary. These niggas get out the penitentiary. Every nigga you know get out the penitentiary. What do you do? Find him a woman. That's his lifeline. That's these niggas' lifeline. You don't know now, nigga. Ladies, y'all don't know now, nigga, when y'all fucking on that nigga. The first time you over at his apartment, every woman who give up some pussy, she got to give up some pussy at her house. Here it is, you got good furniture now for that nigga to sit on. He got the nigga ain't never been able to get no big screen TV that he he didn't have to pawn. Most of these niggas, if they done had a big screen TV, they done lost it to the pawn shop. Most of these niggas, if they done had a ring, a pinky ring, a watch, or a necklace, these niggas done lost it to a pawn shop. Most of these niggas, if they done had rims, guess what they did to the rim? Say, man, I got some rims for sale, uh, or they done took it to the pawn shop. Now, here it is. They give it to you ladies. Y'all been working since high school. Y'all done figured out how to manage your money, uh, and you're doing right with your life. Here this nigga come with that good mediocre ass dick it's only good for the first 90 days because you have went so long without having dick you've been going to church you've been sitting up in that motherfucking church house trying to be celibate call yourself you go get right with the lord now here it is this good looking a half looking a good talking a, a good dressing joker uh 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 or uh, done come along your path, and you done thought you done got you something you're looking the nigga upside his head he's saying all the right things in the beginning you know how these niggas do you know how these niggas do. In the beginning, these niggas jump, these, these niggas will jump through a ring of fire. <laughs> Boy, these niggas be just like, they'll jump through a ring of motherfucking fire to get to you. Once they get that pussy, uh, a couple times, once you start letting that nigga come over to the house, or uh, uh, waking up at the house, then you start saying, man, this nigga really ain't what I thought this nigga was. <laughs> and then here you go. Now you got problems. You can't get rid of the nigga. For one, uh, Mama say your soul done tied to the nigga. The nigga done coming and you letting this nigga fuck on you. So you done got weak for that motherfucking dick. You done stopped going to church. You ain't praying. You ain't talking to God no more because you're shame. Because you done done this your fourth or fifth time you done done God like this. It seems like every time you get in that church house, you go to getting in that church house real good. Go to getting with the Lord real good. Everything go to going good. Then here come a nigga. Here come this old nigga, and you be thanking and thanking God to send you this nigga. And, and man, one thing about it, God don't send niggas to women.
<laughs> That's the biggest goddamn mistake that y'all women, God don't send no nigga to no, no woman. The nigga got to be actively looking. Most of these niggas, uh, most of these niggas show up with these pretty motherfucking clothes, with these pretty motherfucking tennis shoes, but they clothes be in a trash bag somewhere. And boy, they come out, them niggas really campaigning for somewhere to stay. Listen, y'all hear me good now, because I got to go in here and get me some breakfast, because I got some shit to do today. Y'all don't, that, listen, that nigga come through there with that good swinging dick. Now, if he fresh out that penitentiary, uh, he got an exception. That nigga out that penitentiary coming out there with some bad motherfucking hip, hip action. But these niggas that's been out here in the free world, now if he been to penitentiary and he been out here a year, put him over here with us. He in the same category. Now, when them niggas show up with them motherfucking edge ups and them birds and them mustache goatees trimmed up nice and them motherfucking birds shaved good and he looking handsome and smelling good, look with them motherfucking clothes on that you like and, 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 and he done caught y'all. This is what you do. You got to take a step back. Bitch, don't don't get so caught up in that, ooh, we girl. Because for one, you done been without her. You don't know what what's what now, right? You been fucking these fuck-ass niggas for so long, it's hard to know what's what. So the first thing these niggas fit to come do, they fit to come flip the upside down with that dick. Say, for when he know he getting some pussy, he got to get that dick peel. They say the young boys is getting it. So ain't nobody exempt no more. So when them niggas show up, goddamn it, they looking just how you want them to look. They talking just how you want them to talk. Take a step back and count to ten. Y'all hear me good, ladies. If that nigga come and that dick back hard, and that dick back hard, that nigga cheat. That nigga cheating like a motherfucker. Man, that dick got at least a downtime. That dick got at least a downtime of 30 to an hour and a half for that motherfucker get back and go to rejuvenate like he want to get back in that motherfucking hole. So don't listen to me good. Now these niggas is cheating. They cheating and they begging. Ain't no more organic dick. Ain't no more natural good dick coming from nowhere. If you ain't, if you don't know that nigga going to that motherfucking gym and working out and eating right and, and, and eating vegetables and, and, and eating fruit and, and drinking water, uh, and doing push-ups, uh, man, listen, he cheat, he cheat, now these niggas gonna be mad at me, they gonna be mad at me, but I don't give a damn, cause I'm cheating too, shit, <laughs> I got to cheat too.